Did you know Turkey was named amongst the list of the most Instagrammable countries in 2022? It's a simply stunning country filled with history, culture, and some of the most beautiful sceneries you've ever seen. On the outside, you'd see a country with ruins, villages, mountains, and rivers like no other. But a closer look and you'll see a darkening cloud of hyperinflation and economic turmoil hanging over citizens' head. Shocked? You and me both. This is the dark side of Turkey. Back in the year 2000, and up until the 2010s, the Turkish nation experienced what we would call a massive economic bloom. Basically, if I was making this video five years ago, I would have been going on and on about how this country could be the first ever Muslim nation to stand beside the developed economies of the world, like China or the US, being a gateway between the Middle East and Europe, both culturally and economically. Surrounded by the riches of the Middle East and the advanced economic systems of Europe, Turkey has been talked of as the heart of a possible economic revolution in the past decade. So it's all the more concerning that severe economic mismanagement is threatening to unravel all the progress that the country has made in the past two decades. For those of you who find this rather unheard of, I'll enlighten you. Turkey is currently experiencing extremely high levels of inflation, to the point where the prices of everyday commodities are rising to new highs every single day. Yes, my friends daily. Believe it or not, the Turkish currency, the lira, has been torpedoing since the pandemic first began and has gone completely bizarre in the past year. And it's gotten so bad that two-thirds of all people in Turkey are struggling to pay for food or cover their rent, which is leading to an increasing number of people suffering from mental health issues and debt. People are queuing in long lines for cheap bread, cutting back on meat and fish, and even thinking of fleeing to other countries. Vendors are stuck with their perishable products and customers are forced to budget their liras just to make ends meet. And this doesn't affect just non-skilled labor. Skilled workers such as programmers or those in the manufacturing or agricultural industries have it even worse. There have been countless layoffs by companies in just the past year, leaving graduates and even seniors jobless with no way to pay for their needs. And with that, the nationwide unemployment rate is soaring toward a rate of 14%. Well, to solve this situation, the government did raise the minimum wage requirement a bit in the last year. But that doesn't solve anything because companies still don't have enough funds to pay their employees. And when they can't pay them, they just let them go. So this pretty much just leads to even more unemployment. The situation has escalated to a point where divorces and separations reached an all-time high in 2021, with the prime reason being that the male head of the family was unable to provide for the others. You might be thinking that it doesn't get much more abhorrent than this but it's reached the horrendous low where the commoners hit rock bottom and have been considering ending their lives to free themselves from the burden of feeding a family or turning to drugs and alcohol. Hence, the rise in black market drug sales and alcohol imports. In January 2018, a worker burnt himself in front of the parliament owing to the fact that his wage was not enough to pay his bills. And not just that, an entire family of four was found dead in the city of Antalya and had left a note behind detailing the economic difficulties that they had been facing. To say the least, the hyperinflation and turbulent economic environment hit the middle class quite badly, and the poor of course. In September 2021, a single US dollar was worth around 8 Turkish lira, but by November 2022, this had reached a new height of 21. And with this, the inflation rates hit a high of a whopping 87%, something that hasn't happened since the 1970s. What's striking is that many Turkish citizens, knowing the ground reality of inflation, do not believe these numbers and think it is much higher than what's released to the public. Just recently, a well-known independent research group released information that Turkey's annual inflation rate has in fact risen to more than 175%. That's more than double the official numbers, guys. I think you probably have realized by now where I'm getting at with this. The country that we all thought was doing well and was on its way to Europe is now sinking into a global issue that every nation should avoid at any cost. A nationwide poverty crisis. People of the working class can hardly cope with this climbing inflation rate, especially those with school-going children. School tuition was already expensive as is, you know what I mean. And if the middle class is in shambles like this, you could only imagine how bad the poor have it, who make their wage by whatever they can on a daily basis. You'll often hear the Turkish people refer to the good old days of the past decade when the GDP used to be 5.8% every year, an all-time high. But truth be told, these extremely high inflation rates really stem from the fact that the economy was dangling by a thread this whole time. 
There always were deep structural issues such as higher imports than exports, but there's always another villain at play in the background, interest rates. Opposite to what most economies do when they're dwindling, Turkey has consistently enforced a low interest rate policy in the central bank. In the words of the renowned emerging economies expert Timothy Ash, the economy, it's always running too hot. Growth is too high, domestic demand is too high, and imports are too high. Everything is overheating. So with the currency devaluing at the same time, the economy is literally a volcano waiting to explode. You may think, okay, maybe this is as bad as it gets, but that's still not it. Investors became so uncertain of the Turkish economy that literally no one wants to invest in the Turkish economy, starting in 2020. And by investors, I mean countries that Turkey has foreign ties with, Jordan for example, abandoned their trade agreement with Turkey indefinitely. And to make matters even worse, the European Union General Affairs Council has brought any negotiations on Turkey becoming a member of the EU to hold for a while. Even more so, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus abandoned the Turkish Lira for another currency. While we're on the topic of currencies, the European Central Bank also voiced that they were worried that the euro was too exposed to the lending market in Turkey. And with that little statement, the U.S. came in with sanctions on trade with the U.S., doubling the tariffs for trade in aluminum and steel. And the government seemed to have completely misunderstood the problem and thought it would be rather effective to slash the interest rate even more. And to do so, they even replaced their central bank chief, something they've done at least twice before this. Analysts tried really hard to stop the leadership from doing so this time, with the threat that the lira might immediately drop by 10 to 15% but they went with it anyway. And as you can probably imagine by now, and the only thing it achieved was put the Turkish Lira on a steeper downward slope than it had ever been on before, with a 44% value loss in just 2021. On the shinier side of the coin, the GDP still growing since the country's interests are now on a new low and the exports cost pretty much close to nothing. But this isn't as great as it seems either. With how cheap exports are, there's too much competition in the Turkish exporter market which also causes the lira to be depreciated more. So while pretty much all that's happening for the people of Turkey is that they're slowly becoming more and more engulfed in the anxiety of how they'll pay their bills when they wake up the next day. In the words of the Turkish economist Korkut Baratov, this is pretty much an environment of savage capitalism, with banks and corporates running the show within the framework created by the palace. All in all, Turkey is a spectacular country, with its beauty and the facilities that they've built in just a few decades, but you just can't ignore how humongous their economic crisis has become.